and welcome back to my channel this is my first video upload for 2016 and i thought i would make over my beautiful soon-to-be sister-in-law she has never worn bright colors before in her life she's into neutral shades so i thought i would go all out on her um, and use purple as well as glitter and a bold lip and she absolutely loved it and I absolutely fell in love with the look as well um, so if you want to learn how to get this look then just please continue to watch so we're going to switch things up in this video I know I normally start with the eyes but today we're going to start with the face and I'm priming with the Revlon photo ready perfecting primer and just applying that with a duo fiber brush all over her face this is just going to help fill in any pores and keep the skin matte and now moving into foundation I'm going to use the Tom Ford traceless foundation in the shade tawny and the Estee Lauder double wear foundation uh, in the shade cashew I'm just mixing them together at the back of my hand and applying that again with a duo fiber brush all over the skin. And then going in with a disposable sponge and just pressing the product into the skin. Now moving on to contour, I'm using a Kiko foundation stick, um, but I'm using a few shades darker than her skin tone, uh, just to contour. And I'm applying that on the hollows of the cheeks the forehead uh, just below the lip and the jawline and this is just going to help slim down the face as well as bronze the skin applying it under the lip is just going to help the lips later on when you apply the lipstick to look more fuller a little bit more plump as well so it's a really good trick by using a duo fiber brush um, it's really going to shear out the products And now moving on to concealer as well as highlight, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC25. Applying that at the back of my hand and then just applying it under the eyes with a disposable makeup sponge again. Make sure you really, really press this into the skin. So to set it, I mixed two shades. I mixed um, the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden and Light and just set the under eye concealer. And I did apply highlight and bronzer, but my camera didn't record that bit. So I'm just gonna contour the nose again, just to show you what I did. And I used the Sephora bronzer. Uh, I'm not too sure of the name or the number, so I'll link that down below. And I mixed two blushes. Um, I used Max Peaches and Harmony Blusher and applied that all over the cheeks. Now moving on to the brows, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. I do have a separate video going into detail on how I do my brows and I'll link that down below. And then I'm using the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden and I'm just applying that underneath the contour just to sharpen it and make it look more defined. This again is going to help uh, slim down the face and then you want to make sure you blend it all out. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm using that same bronzer, the Sephora one that I used to contour her nose, um, on a big fluffy brush and applying that onto the crease of the eyes. And then going in with the MAC 217 brush and MAC Sketch eyeshadow, I'm applying that just on the outer corners of the eye to deepen it. And then again using your big fluffy brush, just blend them two colours together.
And now moving on to the eyelid. Um, I'm using a purple shade from an Urban Decay palette. Uh, I think it's called the Shadow Box. I'm not too sure, but I'll link it down below. And I'm applying that all over the lid. I'm just applying it, as you can see, just on the inner third of the eyes. And just really packing that colour on. I am going to spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus just to intensify the colour. And then again, I'm using a deeper purple plum shade just on the outer V of the eyes and then I'm blending the two shadows together. This is just going to help create depth to the eyes. And then again using your big fluffy brush just blend all the harsh lines out. And now moving on to eyeliner, I use the Inglot number no. 77 gel liner on an angled brush. And as you can see, I'm doing it really, not sloppily, but um, not as neat as you would see it in the end product. Um, I'm just applying just kind of a trace. And then I'm going to neaten it and straighten it out later on when I apply the lashes with a liquid liner. Now moving on to mascara, I am using a Miss Sporty mascara and just applying that onto the eyelashes just to prepare them for falsies. And now for the start of the show, I absolutely love glitter liners. Um, I'm using the Heavy Metal Urban Decay liner and I think this is the purple shade, I'm not too sure of the name but I will link it down below. And I'm just applying, an, applying that on the inner third of the eyes again. You want to make sure you apply it and then let the glitter liner fully dry. As you can see, I didn't really do that here. Uh, that's why there's a bit of creasing um, but I will do that a bit later on into the video and now I'm using a black shadow called blackout also from the shadow box urban decay palette and just applying that just on the outer corners of the eye this is just going to help create a lot of depth to the eyes and these lashes that I'm going to be using are absolutely stunning they are the Vegas Nay Grand Glam intensifying it and also concealing the glue that we used for the lashes. And as you can see on her eye there, I put a bit too much uh, black liquid liner and I intensified it, kind of looked like an Amy Winehouse liner. So what I'm doing here is just, I just applied a concealer with a flat concealer brush and just went over the liner and created the shape that I wanted just to match it to the other eye. And then on top of that, I just applied the shadows again. And now moving on to the lower lash line, I used a the bronzer shade again from Sephora, just to smoke out the lower lash line and I used a sketch close to the lash, lash line as possible and just smoking that out as well. I'm not doing anything too crazy to the lower lash line. And then I'm using an iridescent lilac shade just on the inner corners of the eyes just to pull the whole look together. And now moving on to the lips, I used MAC's Night Moth Lip Liner and a limited edition MAC lipstick in the shade Evening Rendezvous. And this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the look. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and comment. I do love hearing from you guys. Leave your comments down below for any future looks you want me to create. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah. No, no. This is what I'm Bomba. talking about.
Can you go back in? I can't, man. My hair's so dead. Richard, we need to all get in. Monica, trying to get in. Can you get in? <laughs> you're saying you're funny. Get in. Oh, my God! What is it? No, guys. Pick it up. I'm trying to pick it up. Bobby, get it. Hi, guys. Just like them awkward family photos where you're supposed to take photos. <laughs>